Alright guys, another collaboration with Grant Harding, the pharmacist, that's finding all these weird gas station pharmaceuticals and then sending them to me. Uh, this time it is the Honey Packs. I've been seeing these all over uh, the social media, these kids taking these Honey Packs and having all sorts of mysterious effects, from intoxicating effects to aphrodisiac effects, male enhancement effects, and things like that. And so these honey packs, really interesting. They're called Royal Honey Ultimate Power Source, and they have 20 grams of honey. Um, but then they also have all these herbs, supposedly, in them, like ginseng and maca root and uh, tongue cat ollie. Now, we're going to do another piece on the tongue cat ollie and potentially the testosterone effects from this a uh, tongue cat Ollie. Anyways, we uh, diluted this guy out and we're going to put it onto the LCMS. So, this is really simple. We're not going to lose anything. We're not pelleting anything out. We're just taking the honey directly out of the packet. We're diluting it in clean water and then we're running it uh, versus uh, some honey. We're just going to do the wildflower honey uh, from uh, Whole Foods, the 365 wildflower honey. It's not the best honey in the world, but at least we know uh, that it is honey. Uh, and uh, consistent uh, in honey molecules. And so we're going to pair those directly uh, with some QTOF data off the Ziva QTOF. Uh, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. And then we'll probably have a discussion about this with Grant Harding and see what we can find. All right. All right, here it is Ziva QTOF data, positive mode, run out on the phenylhexyl column, which is really good for sugars and phenolics and things like that. Uh, on the bottom, you can see we have the 365 honey, not a ton of peaks, just this 247 peak that we see in a lot of honey, okay? Um, uh, first off, you're not seeing the 247 peak, and so I can't even confirm that this royal honey is honey. Like, it could just be like sugar, sugar syrup of some sort. Okay, uh, but then you can see that there's a, in this royal honey sample on top, there are a lot more individual peaks that we're not seeing down below. So, But the biggest one I'm interested in is 342, the most intense peak. It's coming off in my analytical region here. So if we zoom in and look at this, we have, yeah, you know, we got the 342 mass. That is definitely only in the royal honey. Uh, we have this 8, 6, 823 mass, which has uh, kind of that characteristic breaking product of a glycosylated molecule, so some sort of plant-derived molecule. So uh, this one I'm, uh, I'm kind of hopeful is plant-derived. This one definitely looks synthetic, okay? All right, so here are the HMDB masses I'm gonna search. We have the 342 mass, we have this 823 mass, this 677 mass. All right, here we go, HMDB results. So again, we got the 342 is the first major adulteration peak in this royal honey. Searching it in HMDB, we're getting this chloroquine, which is sodiated, but we know the peak from the way it looks in the mass spec data is not sodiated. The next top hit is 6-acetylcholine, which would have some uh, effect, noticeable effects. Um, if we look at the fragmentation ions on this acetyl coating, they actually do match the peaks that we were seeing. Some of them match. Um, acetyl coating, kind of scary. Definitely not supposed to be in there. It is a major impurity in illicitly produced H. So, um, I don't know. If this is actually in there, guys, uh, be uh, very careful with this gas station honey. 823P is bow aside V, uh, I guess, 6? I don't know. Um, that's a strange one. Let's search this guy out. Okay, so this is coming from when the sapediums, I think, you know, I'm not an expert on my plants, but I think that could be horny goat weed. So apidium is known, better known as horny goat weed. It is a traditional uh, medicine uh, boosting. So, hey, if that's actually in here, that would explain some of the libido ED effects. Hey, maybe that's actually a legit medicinal in there. All right, so next peak, 66677. The only thing I'm seeing that makes sense with this uh, artonin D, um, which is natural substance and extractives. Uh, looks like it's coming from this plant here. Um, that is jackfruit. So I guess some sort of jackfruit 
extract? I don't know if that even makes sense. But anyways, um, the rest of the stuff I'm really not getting good hits for. This 358, this 661. I don't know. But anyways, the other thing that people are asking about this Royal Honey is does it just have, like, Viagra in it? All right, so to confirm or deny the myth of the Royal Honey packs from the gas station have just Viagra or another thing that would be in one of these ED supplements at the gas station. Here's the two other Grant Harding samples, this P2 and P3 supplements that he sent to me. You can see this huge 475 mass um, right here. 476 is is the Viagra. That's the Viagra. Is that in the Royal Honey anywhere? Let's take a look. Again, nothing. So I can confirm that it maybe has got a little horny goat weed in there. It's potentially got some really scary scene in there. But it definitely does not have uh, Viagra prescription ED medicine in there. So uh, this Royal Honey, I would avoid it. Uh, not just honey. It may not even be honey. It may just be some sort of syrup. Uh, with a couple herbs in there and maybe an illicit drug or two. So uh, careful out there, guys. Uh, Royal Honey, uh, Grant Hardy collab. Uh, there it is.